Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, have you ever wanted to kind of mess around with an actual operating system from within Minecraft? Well, this is the video for you. I hope you guys are ready. So yes, what you've seen in the beginning of the, of the video is true. This is an actual operating system that we have up and running. Um, JD, at least his name on Discord, reached out to me um, and he linked me with this awesome thing that I, it wasn't even on the forum. You don't even find it on the forum very easy, but it's called mine OS and it is absolutely wonderful. So because I didn't know about this, I'm sure a lot of you guys just diving into open computers may not know about this either. And it's really fun to play around with, especially inside of Minecraft. I mean, it's just, I mean, this could be so, you could have so much fun with this playing around with your friends on servers and, su and such. So um, I just want to kind of go over this. As you can see right now, this is a screensaver that you're seeing. So when you open this menu and double tap, it's going to pull us in to the actual operating system that you see here. So before we get into this, I'm going to show you how to actually install this because right now what we can do is of course, control alt C to take us back to the main, our main system, right? Cause right now this is going to be, um, uh, what you would call it? It's, I think it just actually shut itself down. Um, this is going to open up the mine OS. I think you can actually go into here from the settings and we can go into system. Can't remember where it was actually at. I remember seeing auto start. I think it takes us to the script for auto start, which is actually under, where would it be at? I think it's under base and it's under OS Lua. If I remember correctly. No, it's not. Okay. So anyways, uh, what we can do though, is we can just hit this reinstall OS. I believe that will automatically let us reinstall. Really what you're going to do, I'll have it all linked down in the description below. All you have to do is copy the section, which just says paste bin run, and then has the paste bin code. You can hit insert and this will straight up install after you follow the instructions. The instructions are super simple. Um, all you have to do is do the same things we talked about last episode and make sure you install um, Lua and basically get it up and running. Um, this is failed to load the image because there's not enough memory. That is probably because the memory card is here. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and scrap this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a new hard disk. We are going to remove this one because this EFI has something else flashed onto it. Um, so we need to actually pull back the old stuff. I'm going to make a new hard drive and then we're going to install this fresh so that way you guys can follow along with me. So let's go ahead and take a trip down memory road. Um, we need to, to get the Lua BIOS here and make sure you get the operating system. So open OS, you're going to need to have both of those and then you're going to need a fresh drive. Um, this one right here is already, you see it already says it's, it has open OS installed into it. This one does not. Um, so let's go ahead and restart. After the restart, we should just load up normally. There we go. And it's actually going to boot up, but like I've said before, it's really slow. So we need to do install. That is going to install into the hard disk. You're going to hit yes, because you are going to need this. And we're going to go ahead and let that process happen where it actually installs onto this computer. So it's going to take a minute. So after you have it nice and installed like that, you can now hit Y and that will reboot and bam, we're installed, right? So we're perfect. Should say here we have OS managed, it is installed and we're ready to go. And then right here we have, it, this right here says Lua BIOS. Now this is where things really kind of change. What I'm gonna do is copy and paste the actual, com or the actual command that we're gonna run. So just by default, after we've done those steps, it's literally as simple as hitting the insert key, or at least for me, I can't hit the insert key because that's my button that I used to uh, to actually do everything. So I'm just gonna hand type it. Oh, and uh, before we get started, let me just tell you, you're gonna need two sticks of uh, tier 3.5 memory. Um, you're gonna need a tier three hard drive, and you're also gonna need a tier three graphics card and an internet card if you want to download apps in the app store. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it is a thing. Um, you can expand the screen if you want to. You don't have to. Really, you do all the functionality inside this main screen. 
So let's finish this. Uh, pastebin run. Because we're just going to be running this command, this does not need to be saved because it's going to install it for us. This is like an auto installer. It is absolutely amazing. After playing around with this a little bit, I am, I'm absolutely blown away. So I believe this is the command. And then as soon as you're ready, you just hit enter. It's going to download. Then it's going to start to run. And this is where things get a little bit crazy, right? It's going to load up mine OS. This is literally just like installing Linux or Windows, any of those operating systems onto a computer. And this is what's make this makes this so fun. That's why I said modded Minecraft, uh, man, is a, a, a crazy thing. Absolutely crazy um, when you dive into it. So let's go ahead and pull this up. You can select your language. Of course, it does support multiple languages. We can go into here. I'm going to go ahead. It says you can erase it. I've got 19% used. I'm just going to leave it like it is. The only thing we have installed on here is the things that we need. So no need to erase this drive. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. We're going to call ourselves chosen architect and password. We're not going to use a password. No need. This is just our profile. I'm the only one that uses a computer and account. Um, and we should be good. So without password, we're ready to go. Um, we can choose whether or not we want to download anything pre or pre download anything. I'm going to go ahead and let it pre download the stuff um, that they think that is worth downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, language packs probably don't need, but you know, whatever. So you do have to accept this have permissions hereby granted free of charge. Any, you know, copying of the software, blah, blah, blah. The software, I mean, just make sure you kind of read that. It is a copyright uh, notice. There we go. And good to go. I know family friendly, but you know, there are some things in here. <laughs> some, uh, some wording of things, which may not be um, fair warning. So this is going to take a little bit of time to download. So just let it download. It's going to do its thing. The bar is going to move. It's going to install the library. It's going to install the applications. It's doing all this backend stuff, same as if you were installing Windows or whatever you you decide to install. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run, and I'll be back when it's done. So after it is finished installing, you should be able to see right here. It says Mine OS has been installed. Enjoy. So reboot, and it is good to go. Right? I think while you're in here, it said something about Hold Alt. It may be Control Alt C. I don't know, but this is it. Up top, you have your actual time. Now I am running, we open settings, um, because I took, somebody recommended to get the other clock app that I was working, uh, to get it working was to put this thing in uh, Lua 2, or uh, what, what auto version is it? I think it's under disk, users, try a system, there it is. I'm in Lua 5.2. I believe you can put this in Lua 5.3. It is going to reboot. Um, I think that still works. So this is a this should be a better version. Um, I was in the previous version, so I needed to change that. But you can actually change that without being in here. It's so so weird when I I get out of here and I'm, I still see it on the window. But if you pull this out and you um, shift click or shift right click while holding it, it'll actually change the Lua version. Um, so. With that being said, you can also change the resolution. So right here, this actually is not pixel perfect to fit this current screen size. We can change that. So if we set this to auto scaling, we can select the best auto scale for our current resolution. And this is the best scaling for our current resolution and fits this border much neater, right? And gives us literally a one pixel border all the way around so it fits it way better and looks a lot clearer so that is something that you can also do um, I just want to go over some of the crazy stuff that we can do with this right so over here is how you navigate your bars um, we have 3d print we have a fu fully functioning calculator I'm not joking you can do your math homework here you can literally say hey mom I may be playing Minecraft but I'm literally using a calculator that is way better than the one that you've given me so yeah, fully functioning calculator, no joke. I mean, I will do this. I mean, five times five, hit that equals key. I don't know. Yeah, if I, say it, I, I don't know if it works with your keyboard. It doesn't look like it does. But I mean, 
this thing is i mean you got sign cosine tangent um you can open up multiple applications and move them around like that's a thing we have different kinds of graphs that you can set up i mean here's your math function right here uh, if you wanted to change the things pretty ridiculous <laughs> right there you have the halo clock i want to go over that here in a little bit multi screens but the cool thing if you want to download more applications there's an actual app market that lets you do that um please forgive some of the the wording of some things um i think like i want to install the simply radio play um so i just click install after the page is loaded up and hit download and it's just going to download that application that's in this app store there are a lot of applications that are actually in this app store um, you can rate by popularity. You can rate by a lot of different things um, and sort everything, not rate, sort. Um, and yeah, that's just some really cool things that you can do. So that is installed. I can close that out. Should now be on my desktop, which is kind of crazy. And here it is. Now this program requires open FM radio uh, or, or this, this program needs a open FM radio. Is that probable? I bet that's another application. I don't actually know. I don't know what it's meaning by open FM. Let's see. I think you can search for particular applications and stuff like that. I don't know. Right here, sponsored by McMotter. So yeah, I don't, anyways, I'm just kind of going over some of the cool things that you can do with this. Um, you have a fully functional finder. So just, I mean, finder as in like <laughs> Linux, but like, and, uh, in Mac, but like right here is your browser. I mean, you have your applications, your desktop, your root, um, all kinds of different stuff. Um, you have a symbols manager. Some of these require certain things. That's hilarious. Um, this is a really cool one. This, this right here will, whatever you type in here. So whatever you type in here, you can change, uh, the, the like color and things like that. Hit okay. And yeah, you can get back out of here and that will just stay scrolling. So you can, you can have scrolling text run just simply from the OS here. Um, and then whenever you want to go back, you just double, double click and you're back. I mean, it's, it's, that's really cool. You have functional weather. So you can search for your city. Of course, I'm not in St. Petersburg, Russia, but, um, you can put your city in here and it will tell you your active forecast, which is kind of crazy. Um, man, I'm just trying to think of some of the other cool things. I just want to go over the halo clock. I think we can actually do that. So I have a halo projector and some cabling. Um, I want to see how this thing functions. So I'm going to run some cable to, I think it needs to go to the bottom of it, doesn't it? Does this go to the, connect to the bottom? Yeah, it connects to the bottom. So that's the screensaver. We can change all that here in a second. Let's load up Halo Clock. And it says, press R to randomize clock color. Scroll to change projection scale. Press enter to save and quit. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, that is so cool. Look at that clock. That it, it doesn't get better than that. So yes, you can use this to fully control a functioning clock. Yep. I'm already, in, I'm already enjoying this. So another cool halo projector thing that you can set up is a Christmas tree. Um, so right here is a lovely Christmas tree that they have, which loads up from this application and you can change the speed, the translation. If you want the translation to be changed, you can do that. But look at that. You can have it spinning, dropping snow on the ground. I mean, this, that's, that's awesome. That's some awesome stuff right there. And if, whenever you don't want it, I mean, you can literally just close the application. Well, I guess in this case, it didn't actually go away. Um, but I mean, you could break it and it'll go away, but that's, that's really cool. 
Um, there's even an IRC chat if you really wanted to mess around with that. Um, I want to go over some of the settings things, which is really cool. You have different wallpapers that you can select. Of course, there are some really cool looking wallpapers. I mean, that you can change. I mean, there you go. You got your gamer girl. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Wallpapers. You got block, which I think is really like super bright. There we go. I've actually not tried to minimize. Ah, so the minimization does work. All right, we have that. We have more girl pictures. There we go. I mean, there's like I said, there's some really cool things here. There's mystery. I've, I've not seen mystery other than it being a dark themed. Ooh, spooky. Um. So yeah, I really do like the. Uh, I really do like the space themed one. Um, there are also some custom screensavers uh, like the Nyan cat is one. For example, we can set the delay all the way down and then we get the Nyan cat like these screensavers can actually run as full loops. So if you don't want, I mean, if you just want to have a big screen of a Nyan cat, there's a perfect, perfectly good way to do this. Um, and then we can set that up to also be, let's set that up to a couple more seconds. The matrix lines, clocks. Um, I don't actually know what this one is. Interesting. I mean, there's just really cool things you can do. I mean, you could really use this in some really technical builds and have some stuff like this going on. I mean, this is kind of cool. This is super, super cool. The Christmas tree is kind of getting annoying. Uh, let's get rid of you for a, a moment. Yeah, because you reset. So it just like keeps building. That's kind of cool. Unless it freezes up because it's getting too complicated. Ah, I think I broke everything. So yeah, it's as simple like if you want to reset things, it's as simple as just literally restarting the computer. Um, we do need to make it to settings and appearance wallpaper. There we go. Change that delay. But yeah, I mean, just some really cool stuff. I wonder what XCOM looks like when you let it set for a couple seconds. And yes, this will like function on its own. That is, re <laughs> that is really sick. It's almost like an advertisement, like I'm advertising an OS system, operating system. But no, this is super, super cool. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it may be a little bit shorter, but I really wanted to show this. This should give you guys something to totally fiddle around with if you haven't messed with this already. Um, I highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, I'll have linked down in the description below the, uh, the forum post, so that way you guys can follow from there. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.